This is the Camel Smoker, Titan's T-51 demo aircraft and a company plane. This uh, aircraft has the LS3 engine, which is a V8, and then it's got a constant speed propeller, fiberglass uh, propellers made in-house by Titan Factory, or actually it's by Whirlwind, uh, a a sister company of the, another Whirlwind company that makes these specific propellers for this airplane. Got the landing gear, the three inch upgrade version for the gear, which makes it look uh, more realistic and more to scale, is an option that you can upgrade to, which is one that I went with. The belly scoop, which actually has the radiator in it that is for cooling. The prop is controlled by a governor inside and there's a lot of different options you can have. This particular option has a, a fairing piece that goes on to replicate 350 caliber machine guns in each wing. The fiberglass belly option which makes it a much cleaner line uh, and easier to install and work on. The replica machine guns, 50 calibers. Because this is an earlier model that they made, the, in, the nose is a little bit longer with the uh, V8 out of the front. They've actually shrunk up the frame and shortened it to bring the weight back towards the cockpit. So my version will have a shorter frame that will have the engine closer to the cockpit so that it brings that weight distribution back and doesn't require so much weight being placed in the back of the airplane. John says there's an option coming in the near future. They actually have some uh, prototypes at the, the shop of a, fiber, a fiberglass cowl. So it'll be a, a multiple piece fiberglass cowl that won't be the sheet metal. So that will be an interesting option if it comes to fruition. Let's take a look inside. So the traditional way to mount a P-51 or a T-51 is to use the front tire. Either side works. Coming up on this side where the canopy release is, is probably the most convenient side to do. So you're up on the tire, step up, make sure you use the no slip pad that's there. And then you can see inside the cockpit. So fighter style grip, which is absolutely something I'm gonna go with to put controls at your fingertips. So you can do your trim controls. You can do a push to talk, smoke, whatever options you have, you can uh, install on that stick and then run that down and out to the control panel. So this control panel is your tra traditional analog gauges. Some people like the to go traditional with the analog, uh, mix and match. Mine will probably be a lot more uh, modern glass cockpit style just because we've got all these cool technologies, why not use them? In this Clear prep. left you have the throttle control quadrant which controls uh, the prop is the small black knob the throttle is the black handheld rod there's a push to talk I believe on that one that you can use the there is no mixture control on the throttle quadrant because the LS3 V8 engine is controlled by a computer so it does the mixture for you bottom left hand side over there the red knob is the gear landing gear up and down actuator 
over here on the left you have the uh, radiator door back control which raises and lowers the back door to allow airflow through emergency extension release for the gear legs if something should go wrong with a pressure gauge for that and then all the other gauges the canopy control is this circular level here you push that knot the button the knob the silver knob in and then it allows it to turn and the chain crank the chain actuates and runs forward and backwards which opens and closes the canopy and then a quick look in the back seat and the turtle deck Back seat actually being almost a six foot tall, you know, 230 pound person, uh, riding in the back seat was not uncomfortable. It was actually fairly comfortable. There are controls and there's an actual, if you look down the side, that's where your, the passenger's feet can sit. And so you've got quite a bit of distance with your feet down inside there. So it's actually really comfortable to sit back in that as a, as a passenger, you'd think it might be uncomfortable, it is not. So we're sitting in the camel smoker in the uh, pilot seat. So I'm gonna close the canopy. Kinda hard with the camera. So that's with the canopy closed. Plenty of headroom. I got a couple inches very easily right there. Um, the rotor pedals are completely adjustable so they can go in and out depending on your height. So pilot view inside the Titan T51. You have a control stick. I would need to put the pedals out a little bit further just because I'm a little bit tight right here but out the nose and right now we're in a tail down attitude so the nose is up high but the visibility out the side is really good you can see the wings flaps ailerons all the way behind you This side as well, down to the ground. Out and back. So that's the view from the pilot seat inside the Titan T51. So yeah, I don't know if I want to get out. I actually enjoy sitting in here. Great view. Um, so we're going to take the canopy back. Requires I duck a little bit with the all this camera stuff. Lighten the camera here. This would be so much easier if I didn't have my hands full. So canopy run, run back, gives room for the passenger to get in and out. It's a great day. So we'll see if I can show you how, how to dismount <laughs> without being too crazy on the camera. So it's actually pretty easy. It's a little bit, it was different because your parents always tell you to stay off the, the furniture when you're growing up. So you, you come back out, you can see in here that we've got the, the wood and what you do is, so I pushed my back up and I'm actually sitting on the top of the seat, of the, the pilot seat, and out on the outside edge, pull my feet up, you actually stand on, your, on the seat, come forward, stand up.
and then out on the side. There's uh, different sizes of cushions you can see. So in this case, uh, John or whoever was flying in here is a lot, short, a lot shorter than I am. So they have a, a thicker seat that goes, cushion that goes in the bottom there. So pulled that out so I could sit comfortably. So I would just need a, and the, the seat is adjustable height wise. So you can adjust the seat height or the thickness of the cushion depending on what your comfort level is. So that is a look at the inside of a Titan T51 Mustang. And this is the Camel Smoker, which is a V8. And inside there you've got an access panel, two access panels, one on each side to be able to get inside and look at electronics. Get your Peter.